What are we doing, Kate? I'm gonna learn how to drive a motorcycle. Oh my god, are you serious? What yep. would your parents say? Probably that it's dangerous and I shouldn't do it. Ah, uh, but they don't know how darn tootin' easy these little bitty scooters are. That ain't really a motorcycle, that's a scoot tootie. It's only 110 cc of fighting fury. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> You got the power, you got the drive, you got the need to exercise your demons. So first things first, what do we do? Put our helmet on? I think that's probably a good step. Classy. Nice uh, broken visor there. That's how they roll here. That's how they roll. Touche. So now what? We get on? We get on! Heck yeah! So, uh, what do we know so far, Kate? I've talked to you a little bit about it, so kind of tell me uh, what you remember. Um, you don't need to use the kickstart because the key always works. So far, at least. <laughs> so far, at least. Then this side is the gas pedal, and it twists. Right. And after you turn it on, you have to do that a little bit to mm. get it alive. Then, good, good. This one is the front brake, and this one is the back wheel brake. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, mm. the little seesaw lever. Let's see, this one shifts up, I think, to a higher gear, and the heel. Yeah. Shifts down to a lower gear. And this, the little black thing, is where you put your feet. I think that is all of them. Alright, so let's talk about the controls here. The, I should say the dials. Yeah, yeah. This one turns on the lights. Okay. But this one controls if they're bright or not, and I actually don't know which one's which. Okay. This is your turn signal? Mm, yes. Oh, that's odd. It just, like, it doesn't actually stay there. Okay. That's your horn, which everyone uses <laughs> frequently. And we don't use this because it's warm here. Hmm. I actually don't know what this one does. I'm not sure. You not sure what that one does? No. Oh, is that, oh, is that the uh, starter? You got it. Okay, okay. So after you turn the <laughs> So after you turn the key you have to hit that one. That's correct. Do you do you hold it or do you just push it? Oh hello. Don't hit us please, thank you. See that's that's the horn use right there. It's yeah. not it's not a get the fuck out of my way. It's more like I am coming through. Yeah, or I'm, watch out, I'm not stopping. <laughs> that's right. Sometimes I guess it is get the fuck out of my way, but that, that one was right. nice. It was just a reminder that there's somebody coming. There's some more people coming. So it's not like a completely empty road, but it's fairly empty to learn how to drive. Yeah, we thought this would be a good location because it's flat. There's not a city anywhere near here. Right. Uh, it's farms of uh, dragon fruit, actually, which we find to be quite delicious. And we've read it is highly nutritious. So uh, we're hopefully we're hoping to get uh, some dragon fruit on the side of the road at some point today, aren't we? Oh yeah. But we digress. Back to the task at hand. So let's start this bad boy. Cha Ching. Yeah. Starts up nice and easy. Yep. Possibly because we've been riding for like a half hour, so the engine's nice and warm. All right then. So you know how the gears work? Well, more or less, I think. More or less? How about more? Well, I could not intimately describe how the changing and the, and the little circle thing works. Oh, well, I meant like from the point of view of you shifting them. Yeah. And where each gear is. Oh, and, and like when you have to shift into each gear? 
Mm, yeah, that I'm, too. I'm a little bit not 100% sure on that. Okay. Because you've said that it's like a sound and a feel thing. And sure. I'm not great at that. But That's I, true. I, I you haven't done it yet. That's why. I know that I'll stay mostly in first gear. <laughs> to start with. First gear can be jerky if you're like going to try to slow down or speed up. It'll like oh. lurch more because it has a... Because the gearing ratio is such that it will do that. Um, so if you get going... You know, if, ooh, hello. If you get going a moment, uh, you might want to try t shifting to second. Oh, okay. It won't hurt. You okay. can you can even start from second gear, actually. Oh, really? You can. On these bikes, they're pretty uh, forgiving. So, we got a living bike right now. <laughs> That's what you called it. It has to come alive, oh. remember? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, uh, we got nobody coming, so why don't we uh, give her a shot? Maiden voyage right here. Woo! Oh, I lied, somebody is coming. Look at her go. Feet off the ground and everything. Uh, now we're stopping. All right, let's go see what happened. How did that go? It was okay turning. It's still ah yes. Scary to do while I'm like while the um, gas is going. Ah, uh, understood. Let's uh. Let's go back to where we started and uh, maybe try going into second gear this time. I am in second. Oh, great. Go for it then. Nice turn, nice turn. Kinda. I think we can call that a turn. Okay, good. Completed. Successfully. Kate rides a motorcycle. <laughs> How about that? You never know the things you'll do when you leave your country and go in other parts of the world. That's for sure. I never thought I'd learn how to drive one of these. Mm-hmm. But now that you've done it a little bit now, uh, what would you say it feels like and how would you compare it to other things like difficulty and whatnot? Um, the balance on it is not as difficult as when I had to relearn how to ride a bicycle with uh, you. Ah, uh, right. Um, the turning is just as scary as learning how to turn on a bicycle okay. for me. Um, and the braking system. I, I keep grabbing for a a brake up here. Ah, like a bicycle would have. Yeah. I see. And so I think I've been using mostly the front brake, which probably isn't the best idea. I guess I should get used to using the back brake because it's... It's important strong. to know how to use both in the long run, but actually you get 70% of your braking from the front brake okay. and only 30 from the back, so it's not so bad to only use the front. Oh, all right. Yeah. It's really the most effective part. Oh, okay. The only time you don't want it is if you're on loose dirt and stuff oh. where you have a danger of locking up the front wheel. Yeah, and then fish too. Exactly. Well, no, the front will dip. Like, the oh. front will, like, flay out beneath you. And oh. it's better for the rear wheel to sort of lock up and and go from side to side. It's much more important to keep the front wheel going. Oh, all right. Just so you know. All right. Give us a high five. Sweet.